I'm gonna use Zalbar. Uh. All right. All right. Off we go. What are we gonna take with us? Let's take Karth. Oh wow, Bastila is really low level. Uh. I might as well get her leveled up. I'll bring these two along for right now and see how that goes. Oh, hello. I was just gonna come find you. You there, human. You are the rider who won the great swoop race in Lower City, yes? That's right. I have a message from Candorous Ordo. He says to meet him in the cantina. Uh, Candorous, isn't he that... Mandalorian that works for Davik? Yes, that's the one. Given his connections, you can see why it would be wise to attend this meeting. Candorous didn't say why he wanted to meet you. He only said he had an offer you couldn't refuse. Given his connections, you can see why it would be foolish to ignore his request. Thanks for the message. I'll go meet him in the cantina. A wise choice, human. I would advise you not to wait too long. Mandalorians are known for many things, but patience is not one of them. <laughs> Alright. Oh, good. I'm we can here. level Bastil up. Hi. Level up. Ka-chow. Cool. Uh, oh, you're not the person I thought you were. I need to go talk to this dude. I want to see if we can sell a bunch of... Oh, wait. Um, what? No. Wait. Hmm? Ah! I want to see if we can sell our... Uh, oh, cool. Useless crap and uh, buy like 80 billion med packs. Alright, show sell list. We got a lot of stuff here that we're definitely not using. And we can sell it for quite a pretty penny, it would appear. I'm gonna sell definitely the mines. I have a better sense of my playstyle now so I can sort of figure out what I'm doing here. Synthesized odor. We don't need it anymore, but it also doesn't sell for anything, so whatever. What's response package? Hmm. Should be able to wear that, potentially. Actually, before we do anything else, let's, um... Oh, wow, you're not wearing shit! Put useful shit on, Jesus Christ. Alright. Uh, bludgeoning... Oh, resist versus bludgeoning. She's going to be doing a lot of melee, so that makes sense. Uh, it's not it's, uh, not clothing, something else. Uh, dexterity bonus, or defense bonus, fine. Oh, she can't wear any of this shit? That's unfortunate. Huh. Alright. Clothing it is, then. Uh, Sith energy shield. I'm sure it's sort of offensive for her to wear that, but whatever. She's not uh, wearing anything else, so... What weapon? Do you not have weapons equipped? Jeez, woman. Double-bladed lightsaber. Yes, please. Hand-eye coordination. Alright, good. I feel better. Uh, good girl. Stop. <laughs> that looks really painful for him. You may want to stop doing that. Alright, uh, who else? Jaxa. Still can't wear the military suit because I am slow. Uh, I just realized I can, like, compare shit down here as well. Alright. Good. That's fine. Uh. Okay. Give you another one of these.
Oh. I just realized this has a comparison down here. Like, I've been looking in entirely the wrong place. Alright, so the blaster pistol is more effective than what he's currently carrying? Or... wait. I'm confused. One to eight. One to six. One. I don't understand how to read this. All right. Uh, da okay. Damage. Three to ten versus three to eight. Yeah. No. So we want this. That was weird. All right. Can any of us wear this response package thing? I don't think so. We need a feat for that, right? Alright, so where is it we need to go? We need to go to... Do, 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 do. Wait. Let's go into Cell Shed first. Sell me your... or oh. buy my crap. Uh. Buy all the crap. Uh, repair kit, we don't want to sell. Spikes, we don't want to sell. Parts, we don't want to sell. Clothing, we don't need it, but... Or shock stick. I don't think anyone's going to be using that. Actually, no one's really using any of the melee crap, but, uh... If I sell this, does it sell all of them? So I might want to sell, like, one. Okay, good. sell a bunch of these grenades because we're not really using most of them except the frag and maybe the concussion. Response package. None of us can wear it and it sells for a pretty penny, so... Pew! Oh. <laughs> I bought it. I, I bought him out of money. Uh. Alright, let's buy a bunch of these. At least enough to get us down to 2,000-ish. And... Anything else here that we want? Uh. Yeah, that's good. Light battle armor. Ooh, that looks nice. That's better than the, uh... military suit. But, again, I still can't wear medium armor, so we must remember, next time I level up, we need to give ourselves proficiency for, uh... Alright, so we got 19 med packs. I feel better about life in general. Uh... Alright, we need to go to the upper city. Uh, where was it? We need to go to... Hang on. Escaping Terrace. They don't seem to be in any particular order, which is... Oh, priority. Alright. That's interesting. Um... Okay, a message has informed you that Candrus Ordo wants a meeting... in the cantina. Alright, well that doesn't narrow it down. Whatever. Let's go out... We'll go to the Upper City Cantina first, since that's the nearest cantina to here. And if that doesn't work, we'll go elsewhere. Where is the cantina these days? Straight across. Alright. We can do that. So hopefully he'll be able to give us a way to, I'm assuming we're going to end up stealing the Ebon Hawk, which is Davik's ship, but I'm not sure about that. But this dude, Ordo, does work for Davik, so he would be a good, um, I saw hello. you on the swoop race. Very impressive. You seem like you know how to get results. That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. What are you talking My about? My name's Candorus Ordo. I work for Davik Kang in the exchange. The hours aren't great, but they promised me a fortune to work for them. And I have nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. 
But lately, Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting cheated. So I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater planet. Why are you telling me this? I've got a plan to escape Taris, but I can't do it alone. I need someone I know can get the job done to help me. That's where you come in. Careful. Mercs like this have a lick of conscience. They'll betray you in a heartbeat. This could be a trap. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking <laughs> to your friend, aren't I? I saw you win that swoop race and started thinking. Anyone crazy enough to race like that is probably crazy enough to break into the Sith military base. I need someone to steal the Sith launch codes from the base. Without those codes, any ship leaving the atmosphere will be disintegrated by the Sith fleet's automated defense guns. What's in this for Here's me? Here's the deal. You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship, the Ebon Hawk. Called it. How are you going to manage that? Uh-uh-uh, not yet. First you bring me the launch codes, then I'll tell you the rest of my plan. How am I supposed to get inside the military Getting base? Getting in won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through it. Lucky for you, I know just the place to get a droid like that. Davik was having one custom built by Janice Nall. Just tell her Kander is sent you and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. Won't Davik get mad if I take his Davik droid? Davik paid for the droid, but I'm the guy he put in charge of the mission. He won't care how I come up with those codes. Normally I'd do this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. That's why I need you. Okay, Candrus, you got I a deal. I don't sense any deception from him, which is surprising. This may be exactly what we need. I'm going to wait in Javiar's cantina. You come and find me when you've got those launch codes, and I'll make sure we both get off this rock. All right. So, I called that. We're gonna steal the Ebon Hawk. Huzzah. All right, who is... D what was the name of the person we're supposed to get the... Purchasing a droid. Janice Nall. Is she the person who runs the equipment emporium outside? I think she might be. Let's go find out. It'd be great, because that's not a long walk. Walk past on the way here. And we're going to get our very own R2 unit. Or whatever they're called at this time. No, you're Kebla Yurt. I'm not interested. Uh, where is Janice Null? T3 droid, not R2. Okay. Uh, Janice Null has a droid in her upper city shop. There aren't that many upper city shops, so... I feel like this won't be that difficult. There's somebody over here? Uh, we'll go over to Upper City North. Bastila, I was wondering something. How did those Vulcans manage to capture a famous Jedi like you? Know, were you knocked out and your escape pod crashed? N no, I was conscious. But my force powers were exhausted from using my battle meditation in the battle for the Ender Spire. Without my help, you might have never gotten off the ship alive. Fair enough, but. I've seen you Jedi in action. There's there's no way those thugs could have stood a chance against your lightsaber. My lightsaber was misplaced. I couldn't find it after the crash. I looked everywhere in that pod. The Vulcus came and overwhelmed me even as I was searching for my weapon. Wait, let me get this straight. You lost your lightsaber? <laughs> I mean, isn't that a violation of some kind of Jedi code or something? Uh, leave her alone, Car. No laughing matter. During the crash, my lightsaber must have it, it must have fallen from my belt and rolled under my seat. The Vulcans probably found it there when they searched the wreckage. Hey, hey, hey! Don't get mad. I'm sorry. It's just funny to think of a legendary Jedi losing her lightsaber. Take my advice. This is one detail you might want to keep out of the history texts. I hardly consider myself a legend, Car. 
Though I will consider your advice when I relate these events to the Jedi Council. There is no need for them to know every detail of what transpired. Alright. Glad we got that sorted out. Karth is kind of a jerk. Or not a jerk, but he's... Uh, he's kind of blunt. But it's okay. Jaxa will love him and soften him. Wait. Janice Nall, I saw the name there. Where is it? Where is it? Ah! Whatever. It's over here somewhere, I think. Something is something going on here? What's going on? Please, human, I am injured and in need of assistance. These human children keep hitting and kicking me. I cannot reason with them, but if I fight back, I could be arrested. Get out of here, you goggle-eyed freak! You're too ugly for the upper city. Yeah, hey. go back to where you came from. We don't want your kind up here. Please, human, help me. Maybe these offspring of your species will listen to you. Hey, you kids, leave that authorian alone. Don't Why be do dicks. Why do care what happens to some scummy alien? He's just a freak. Yeah, he isn't even supposed to be in the upper city. Just because he's different doesn't give you the right to attack him. Come on, let's go. I don't want to listen to this alien lover anymore. Thank you, human. I was returning from a visit with a work associate when these those human child those child humans attacked me and chased me through the streets. Uh You look hurt. Here I've got a med pack, let me help you. You're too kind, human. I thank you for your generosity. Most of your kind here on Terrace care a little for aliens like myself. Yay, light side points gained. It's not like I didn't have plenty of uh med packs to spare, so Alright, Janice, where are you at? Nope. Wait, is she not here? I thought it was here. There's a couple rooms we haven't gone through yet. I guess we'll do that. On it. Open up. Done. Oh, hello. Please, please don't hurt me. Here, I've got 50 credits on me. That's all I've got. Oh, this is one of Davik's bounties. Don't you worry, mean, I'm not gonna hurt you. You're not here to kill me? But uh, I thought you were one of Davik's bounty hunters. If you're not here to kill me, what do you want? I'm basically just practicing my lockpicking skills. Uh, maybe I could help you with the I problem with Davik. I don't think anyone can help me. I owe Davik money, and I was late with the payment. So he went to Zach's in the bounty office and put a price on my head. I've been hiding here ever since. Sooner or later, someone will find me. Unless I somehow come up with another 200 credits. I'm a dead man. I'm too nice for my own damn good here. You'd give 200 credits to a stranger just to help them out? <laughs> I don't believe it. Well, uh, thank you. Wow, that sure was generous of you. I just hope we don't end up needing those credits later on. Now I can pay off Davik. Oh, thank you. You've saved my life. I'll sell you on the slave market if I necessary. I better go give this Karth. to Davik right away. Yay, light side points. It's okay, I'm gonna steal everything out of your footlocker, so. There, see, cart that was only 181 credits instead. Alright. Uh, is there anywhere else we haven't looked? Is that another door there? I'm not sure. Basila, did you ever think about joining all the Jedi who were running off to follow Revan and Malak when they went to fight the Mandalorians? That was nearly five years ago. I was still an apprentice. My battle meditation hadn't even manifested itself. Yet even then I had the wisdom to obey the will of the Council. Unlike Revan. I guess. Still, do you ever wonder if things could have been different? Would Revan and Malak still have been corrupted if the Council had supported them instead of dragging its feet? Do not blame Revan's corruption on the Council. Your Republic saw only the threat of the Mandalorians, but the wisdom of the Masters saw beyond the immediate threat. What did they see exactly? There something lurking out there. Something that devoured Revan and Malak, and many other Jedi. Had the Council sent us all into the unknown, how many more would have fallen? 